Hello, Horror Talk TV viewers, and welcome to another edition of What's in the... Well, this time, it's an envelope. But usually it's What's in the Box, but we got an envelope today. Okay, so, this is part one of packages from the Mysterious Package Company. Uh, they offer a variety of... Um, themes and, and packages and I'll put the link naturally on the bottom there the one I got is called <laughs> I'm gonna screw this name up at least the first part Carcosa the rise of the cult this is a horror themed um, package the theme is cult HP Lovecraft HP Lovecraft paranoia and fear weird fiction and it's 18 plus older um, their packages go from $99.99 up to $249, but there's a, like I said, there's a variety of them, and they also switch them out, because when I first looked at the package, there were different ones than there are right now. So it's, it's, it's I'm already impressed with the variety that they have. It looks like they don't stick with some, they'll, they'll, they'll sell out of a package and then go to the next one. What's interesting about this is it comes in, at least the one that I got, it comes in three mailings. The first one, I got, and I'm going to go into it why it's open already, and then I get another envelope, and then I get a final piece, and then um, you get a, a reveal letter. Now the reveal letter you, you don't necessarily have to get. With the Mysterious Package Company, you can either order it for yourself or order it for someone else anonym anonymously which is interesting because when I got this, I had forgotten I, I was getting it. And I opened it up and there was a, a letter inside that said, uh, hang on, this, was it? There was a letter inside from apparently a uh, shipping company, which is BBL, that said, hey, we're sorry we screwed your stuff up. Um, we regret to inform you that due to a technical, area, a technical error, two packages intended for your address were damaged and misplaced. Unfortunately, this has caused a delay and we have only compiled them and shipped them. They put everything into one envelope. I was like, what is this? And then I opened it up, kind of got freaked out by the contents, and then it hit me, oh my God, this is this is the first package. So right off the bat, if you're sending this someone um, anon anon secretly, uh, they're gonna get a little bit freaked out. And I'll tell you, one thing I heard, um, somebody had said they, they had got it for their father. And previously, the, the company would have you fill out a questionnaire and then included old addresses, that sort of thing. And he had put his father's old addresses down. So what they did was they had put the old address in, scratch it out, put the other old address in, scratch it out, and then put his father's current address in. And like it was, tr they were trying to find him and his father got really freaked out. So God bless him, that's pretty, that's pretty awesome. Um, so let me tell you about, real quick, Rise of the Cult. This package is told over three mailings and an epilogue, what I just said, uh, through a series of letters, documents, and pictures, two sides of a story will unravel. It ends with an artifact so horrifying it must be packaged by blindfolded interns in pitch black facility. It is sure to leave you aghast and alarmed. Um, the other horror related ones they have is um, Filigree and Shadow, which is $299.99, 18 plus. It's a haunted house thriller and Victorian theme. And the last one is The Weeping Book. And The Weeping Book I didn't see uh, originally, so I think it might be new or I might have completely missed it. It's got, its themes are ghost, intense horror, possession and revenge. That one's $99.99. Um, and the other themes they have are adventure, pirate, sci-fi, fantasy. You can buy yourself a gift for an anonymously. Um, so let's get to it. So first thing I got was the BBL letter, which uh, I read it and I'm like, what did I order? And then I opened it up, I was like, oh, okay. Um, so that's why I stopped. Because uh, it dawned on me immediately. So that's why everything's kind of ripped open. I know. I know, I know you look so forward to me opening it up real time. Um, and as you can see, they, they went out, there's like barcode scratched off. The new barcode is there. Uh, that's the original one. So a smell hit me um, when I opened it. So I don't know what that smell is, but I know it has some weight to it. So let's go ahead and open that up. Let me not get on stuff on this table. Looks like 
There is a medallion of some sort. It's broken up. It looks um sea sea shippy shippy. You know, I don't know. It looks like something that would go on a ship, uh, but it's cracked right there. I don't know what that is. Uh, and this might be like not as exciting right now uh, as like opening up the DVDs or the the tchotchkes, what have you. But it's exciting for me. And sometimes that's all really matters. So. Okay, that is, that is, okay, it is sea shippy. Uh, I believe that is the scientific term for something like that, sea shippy. Um, because there's some sea level changes documents in here. Uh, and th this is interesting because these really, I mean, it might be photocopied, whatever, but it, this looks like it's actually handwritten. It's kind of, um, there's, uh, these red circles look like they were drawn in by hand, but it also has uh, wear on it. So that, this is interesting. I'm not gonna go through all this. I, I wanna sit here and read through this and there's uh, 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 a uh, copy of a YouTube video, some news articles. Okay, that's interesting, an ad. So I, I don't know what's going on with that. Um, there's a handwritten letter here. Again, it's worn. And the signature is your friend. I'm not gonna read the letter because maybe you get this and you wanna know what it's like, but I'm trying to see I'm, I'm being a big nerd and seeing if it's actually handwritten or if it was copied, but it really, I really like the wear on this. Like I'm getting something for real, real. Right, let's see what else. Like I said, this is part one of three packages. So now see, as you can see, I didn't open this one. And like I said, in the letter from BBL, these apparently came into two packages. Originally they bounded it together in one. And as you can see, it's all the, the, U, the UPS, I'm mean, sorry, the, U, U, the UPC code is, uh, the bar, scanning code, barcode, has been all blacked out. So. I hope these aren't pictures of me, because then that would be really be creepy. Okay, so this is from the International Society of Academics. Um, again, I'm, I haven't gone through this. I will go through these this week. This will be a three-part unboxing as each thing comes in. We'll get to the other thing in a minute. Uh, there's a newspaper clip in here. Oh, 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 oh. Um, okay, so there's a newspaper clippings in here from July 10th, 1895. A most mysterious theater production. <gasps> okay, I know where this is going. Um, arson at Brompton Cemetery, Graves Disturbed is another headline. Um, and something about the Strand District. I'm gonna get to this in a minute. I think I know where this is going, but this is neat. This is an old newspaper. Uh, and I'm gonna get a close up on this. The Royal Strand Theater on Monday, July 1st for one performance only, The King in Yellow. I read this a while back and it creeped me out. So this has to do with that naturally. Um, Robert, did Robert Howard write that? I cannot remember who wrote it, but I remember reading it. Um, okay, so this is it for now because I already got the second envelope. But what I wanna do is read through all of this first, get my bearings, and then open the second one. Um, and I'll tell you what I've learned in the second video, I'm not gonna go and change my shirt and then pretend like, you know, it's been a week. I'm actually gonna have to do this this week. I know my friends want me to open it right away and they're on the edges of their seats. I do have friends, I, I do. There's a couple over there waving. There's one just giving me stink eye behind the camera. There's one of the stairs over there looking at his phone, but he's, he's interested. But I'm gonna, I'm gonna um, go through all of this and then next week uh, we'll have another video or when I can get it up. And then there'll be a third package. And the epilogue, I might tie in with the third package because the epilogue is, for my assumption, is them saying, hey, so-and-so bought this for you. Um, this so far, I'm liking it. Uh, uh, my, like I said, when I opened it up, it really kind of like, what is this? What is this handwritten letter? Because I, I just pulled this out, looked at it briefly, read the, um, we messed up, we put everything in one package for you. 
And then I was like, wait a minute, this might be the mysterious package. So right away, I'm very, very, very impressed with the condition and and and, and the presentation of uh, of part one. Um, and like I said, I already got part two right here unopened. Uh, but I do like. Oh, sorry. There's a cat right here. There you go. Good cat. Good cat. Stay right there. Um, I really like the presentation of the letters and stuff. The wear, the, how they're worn, how they don't. It's not cheap. And, and I guess for for two forty nine, um, it better not be. And right now, I'm really super impressed. So we're going to see where this goes. Uh, again, this is the mysterious package company. I'm going to put the links and stuff down. Um, I appreciate you watching. Leave comments below, but only if they're nice because my ego is a little bit fragile. Um, I don't like it when people say mean things. It makes me feel um, ugly inside, and, and nobody likes that. Uh, again, thanks for watching Horror Talk TV, and I'll see you. Shoot, you, you probably just look at another one. But if you're if you're watching them as they go along, I'll probably see you in a week or so. That's about it.